The Rio Grande River flows through parts of Colorado, New Mexico and Texas. But now Texas Governor Greg Abbott is installing razor wire along the Rio Grande River in a move he says will prevent migrants that cross the border through New Mexico from getting into Texas. A new landscape for those who live right next to the El Paso border. Razor wire on the Rio Grande. A shock to community members. I saw for myself yesterday the concertina wire along the Rio Grande uh, at the border of Texas and New Mexico, and I just couldn't believe it. I mean, it looks like we're in some occupied zone. Representative Gabe Vasquez says New Mexico and Texas need to work together. The El Paso sector uh, actually uh, monitors and operates uh, across the entire 180 miles of the U.S.-Mexico border across my entire district. And so from the federal level, there's coordination between Texas and New Mexico. At the state level, uh, we've seen that some of Governor Abbott's uh, actions that he has taken uh, have been without consultation. During an online roundtable, Vasquez is hearing concerns from law enforcement and organizations that help those crossing the border. According to Customs and Border Protection, there have been more than 32,000 migrants rescued and a huge amount of migrants dying in extreme heat. We've had a record number of, of deceased migrants uh, in our sector. And the thing I want to stress most is these criminal organizations continue to recklessly endanger the lives of these migrants uh, in their smuggling schemes. Vasquez says a new immigration package will include more consequences for human traffickers known as coyotes. Another bill will address the fentanyl crisis that comes through Doña Ana County. Non-intrusive inspection technology across all ports of entry. I think uh, because fentanyl is coming, uh, the overwhelming majority, over 80 percent, is coming through our ports of entry. Uh, if we cannot detect it, we cannot prevent it. Vasquez says he plans to introduce that new immigration plan as soon as possible. Reporting in downtown Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. According to Doña Ana County, so far this year there have been 64 migrant unattended deaths, a 300 percent increase from last year.